I really want to thank everybody for taking part in this uh, today as well. It's kind of a first of its kind, so we're very interested in the kind of feedback we'll be getting, and hopefully uh, we'll all have a good time here today. Uh, and we are, in fact, live on Facebook. And so for those folks who are joining us now, we're delighted you could be with us. We're going to be talking to some folks, partners of ours throughout the Ulster County region who are very important, particularly to employers in terms of the amount of assistance they can give you. We've got our good friends from the Office of Employment and Training, from the Small Business Development Center, from Ulster County right. Tourism. And Jess Davis and I are here from the Ulster County Chamber of Commerce. Uh, part of our presentations before we get to the individual employers will be a good chance to meet another friend of ours and partner from Samadhi, the Catskills Addiction Coalition, who has information about some folks who are seeking employment. Um, I think I'll ask everybody to mute if you would at this point, and we will, when we call upon you, we'll ask you to unmute and uh, we'll begin our presentation. I want to thank Jess Davis for being with us today. She has been uh, out and seen probably most every restaurant, tourism property, maybe even hospitality in our region, uh, doing Just Delicious videos. And uh, so Jess, welcome. Thank you for being here with us today. And I know you've already spoken with a number of our members about the information they'd like to pass on to the public today, right? Yes, I have. And I'm I'm really excited for today because I have been out and about and, and the exciting news is that our local restaurants and hospitality locations, our resorts, um, they're very busy and they need the help. So hopefully uh, today we will be able to help them meet some of those needs. And it's great to see so many of your faces, many of you are on right now. Lisa Berger, good morning. We had a wonderful chance to talk with you yesterday on our chamber breakfast meeting. Uh, Lisa Berger is director of Ulster County Tourism, so she has a real handle on our tourism properties. And uh, I assume, Lisa, it's been a busy start to the year already, but it kind of kicks off with this Memorial Weekend coming up, right? It is a busy start. We're so excited. Our spot checks look like we're going to have a sold out weekend here in Ulster County. And hopefully the weather is going to cooperate. So we're so excited about that. And we know that the industry itself needs a lot of help getting the workforce it needs. And so thank you, Ward. Thank you, Thomasine. And thank you, our partners at SBDC, Jen and John, for really working hard to help the industry get the help that they need. And I'd be remiss if I didn't thank Jess out there talking to everybody every day uh, making sure she gets the word out and back to all of us about the resources the hospitality and tourism industry needs. So thank you. All right. Thanks very much, Lisa. I'm going to turn our attention over to the Office of Employment and Training. Thomasine Oliphant and Bob Hirsch are with us today. Good afternoon. Thank you for being with us today. Good afternoon, Ward. Thank you so much for having us. Um, I just want to share my screen for one second. Um, bear with me one moment. So I just want to give everybody an overview. So yes, I'm the director of the Ulster County Office of Employment and Training. And just so as everybody knows with the Ulster County Career Center, our mission and vision is to ensure that every Ulster County business has access to a skilled labor force and that every Ulster County resident has access to job training opportunities that lead to high quality employment or career advancement. Um, this is important, especially for this industry, you know, that we want to be able to support you to connect you to job candidates, all the businesses. Um, we have great business services. Um, we have a lot of services we provide to job seekers to help them get prepared, um, resume assistance, interviewing skills, um, training opportunities to help them um, make sure that they're qualified for these positions. And I just wanted to let you know that, you know, we are here and, and helping the Ulster County residents get connected to these job opportunities. Um, I'm gonna turn it over to Bob Hirsch, my employment and training coordinator to share with you about um, business services that we have available to also assist you get connected um, to job seekers. Good afternoon. It's nice to be here with everybody. Um, our business services include a number of different items. Uh, ability to list your jobs with the Department of Labor, which puts it on the America's Job Bank, which is another one of the um, online job banks, which is always gets like Indeed and the other ones, they all uh, get picked up 
by some of the central ones. Um, we also have, will, if you would like us to, we will do job matching of, and find individuals that are appropriate to your job that are on the unemployment rolls that are subject to seek and let them know about your opportunity and try and get them to come and employ, you know, and apply for employment with you. Um, we periodically do job fairs to assist uh, in getting businesses names and positions out there. Uh, we also have some on the job training programs where we take individuals. If, if you have an individual that has some skills, but not all the skills you need, we may be able to assist you with the funding for taking time to train that person and get them into the job, you know, knowledgeable on the job and a long-term employee. Those are just a few of the services that we have. Anyone that wants to reach out to me for specifics, I'm more than happy to give you more details on them. Thank you. Awesome. Great, Thomasine and Bob, guys, thank you so much for all you do for Ulster County and for our region. Representing the SBDC, our good partners, John Cannon and Jen Murray are with us as well today, always offering helpful advice and resources for local employers. Good afternoon, guys, how are you? Afternoon, thank you for having us. We're very excited to be here. Uh, for those of you who don't know the Small Business Development Center, we offer an array of business services to small businesses at no cost. That can range for anything from finding sources of funding to navigating different federal programs to crafting business plans or you know, transitioning in the face of the pandemic. So uh, we're here to help and we'll be posting a link in the chat to where you can make an appointment. Uh, in addition to that, as part of our special outreach towards the hospitality industry with the understanding that this is a critical time of year and a lot of people are having difficulty filling positions. Uh, we are working on compiling flyers of open positions that we will distribute both in partnership with our uh, good colleagues at the Career Center as well to folks on the unemployment rolls as well as to local uh, high school and college students as they get some more free time in the summer. So I'll be posting our contact information in the chat. If you'd like to be included on those uh, flyers, please do shoot uh, Jen and I an email and we'll make sure to get you in there. Fantastic. Uh, Dennis, we want to hear from you for a few minutes. Uh, we've uh, heard about partners that have great resources uh, in terms of assisting employers. And we are good friends now with Dennis Morgan at Samadhi, the Catskills Addiction Coalition, who has information uh, if you would unmute yourself, Dennis, and let folks know about some of the employees, potential employees that uh, your organization might be offering. Go right ahead. Oh, I appreciate everybody being here. I'm so grateful for the support of a lot of people on this call. Um, so I was hired uh, with Samadhi Recovery Center uh, on a HRSA grant to help develop a jobs program for people in recovery. And uh, that said, I guess, to develop uh, a merger between recovery friendly businesses and people in recovery uh, and help both sides to, to in their effort. You know, uh, there's a lot of challenges, but there's also a lot of opportunity. And um, Ward, do you want me to do the PowerPoint now? Please. Okay, let's see if I can figure out how to do this. And uh, all right. So one of the things that makes uh, working while you have a substance use disorder a little difficult is the stigma that surrounds people in recovery. Uh, it damages their self-esteem, it causes stress, prevents them from seeking help. And in some instances, there's discrimination, reduced morale in the workplace. Um, and what we're looking to do is develop a, go to the next slide. And you can tell I'm not uh, Mr. PowerPoint. There we go. Um, so by becoming a recovery friendly business, you're taking a role, uh, not only helping your business with a, a productive and grateful employee, but you're helping foster a community atmosphere. Uh, I can tell you personally that people in recovery are very grateful, they're happier employees. Uh, they want the job more, they're less likely to leave, and they can be a really positive um, influence on the, on the atmosphere. Uh, some people are worried about relapse when hiring people in recovery, which is definitely a concern, but that doesn't 
take into consideration that 75% of adults with untreated substance use disorder are part of the workforce. So just because somebody doesn't identify as in recovery, that may mean that they just are not, they're not seeking recovery and maybe they need to. Um, uh, keep going. And re recovery is good for business. My background happens to be an accountant. Uh, so people in recovery can be more productive, uh, less injuries, reduced absenteeism. I know when I was active, I would call into work all the time. Uh, you know, reduced turnover. Uh, so there are a lot of positives to hiring somebody in recovery, um, other than just the fact of helping the community. Uh, guidelines, very simple guidelines for recovery friendly workplace is to get the people in your, your company on board to talk openly, to reduce gossip, um, treat it as a health condition, uh, be alcohol conscious, which is sometimes difficult in the hospitality industry. Uh, so there's a, a number of things and I'm going a little quickly. Uh, and this slide I just put on there because this young lady is an individual who is now working uh, for a recovery friendly employer, Savona's Pizza in, in Kingston and completely turned her life around. She has her children back. She's an excellent employee. She's taken a class at where I work to become a recovery coach to help other individuals. So I put this picture here because this is kind of the end result of what companies can help accomplish uh, by offering somebody in recovery a position and giving them a chance. Um, my very last thing, we didn't want to lead with this, but there are tax credits available for hiring people in recovery. Uh, it's kind of long and drawn out, but to really shorten it, you can get up to $2,000 a year back for any individual in your company that's ever been through an OASIS certified program. And we have several people that are here to work with you in, in getting that paperwork filed. Um, and it, it's just an added bonus. And if I can just take a couple more minutes, I just, I personally, I, I share this quite often, at three and a half years ago, I was in jail, uh, hopeless, uh, pretty sure that I would had ruined my marriage, that I would never uh, be productive in my life again. And somebody, while I was in jail, reached out to me and offered me a job. And uh, at that point, it was, you know, an entry level job. But I can't tell you how grateful I was. It gave me a chance to give money to my wife. It gave me a chance that somebody trusted me. And it completely changed the way I felt about myself and about the possibility that I might have to change my life, which now I've, I've definitely been able to do. Um, my life is so far from where I ever expected it to be. Um, so we are looking to partner with all of these great people on this call to provide, I have developed relationships with probation, drug court, some of the local 12-step programs. And uh, we are, I wanted to develop a relationship with the employers first. Uh, to, so that we understood what it meant. Uh, but we are definitely looking to help fill these ne needed jobs with the understanding of that this person is in recovery and they might need some flexibility. So, so grateful for everybody on the call and looking forward to help in any way I can. Uh, one last thing, for any company that maybe doesn't need employees right now from me, but may have an employee struggling with a substance use disorder, all of our services are free. Um, so we can definitely just step in and help you with your current workforce if needed. So again, I really appreciate it. Everybody have a great day. Contact information, Dennis, how can folks reach out to you? My phone number, direct phone number is 845-645-2714. And my email is Dennis M, D E N N I S M, at, and I'll spell it at S A M A D H I N Y dot org. So Dennis M at Samadhi dot org.
add that in the chat room, if you would, for all of us and for others as well. And we thank you for coming with uh, on with us today and for the uh, for the information you're sharing. Thanks, Dennis, very much. I want to talk to some of our great employers in the region. It has been a challenge for most, if not all of you, and we are anxious to help you find the employees you need. Um, is our Irish person of the year with us? Yes, I think she is. Who else? I mean, it's so appropriate to lead with Eleni, right? From the Deet Stadium Diner. Hello there, Eleni. How are you? I'm good. Hello, everybody. Tell us about what you've got. So I have pretty much every position. Wait staff, dishwashers, short order cooks, all of the above. So we're willing to work with them. I've been training. I try to train if someone doesn't have an experience with wait staff. I've been hiring some um, kids just coming right out of high school um, and trying to start something to have something for the summer. So I've been working with them, um, but I still need, we all work 80 hours a week just so we can, um, and we're three partners here. So it's myself, my husband, and Andy. So we all work with everybody, along, alongside of everybody. Um, so if anybody's interested. And a great place to work in beautiful historic uptown Kingston, right? Yes, yes. Gorgeous. I'm sorry, you want the address? I'm sorry. Sure. You want It's 127 North Front Street. Again, it's the Deet Stadium Diner. All right, great family atmosphere, right? Yes, thank you. Okay, one of the most scenic, beautiful spots anywhere on the globe is right here in Ulster County at Mohonk Mountain House. Sean Clark is with us today to talk about opportunities there. Sean, how are you? Very good, thank you. Thank you for having us. Um, yes, uh, as Eleni said, we're in the same boat. We have many, many positions open right now. Those positions can be either seasonal for say the summer uh, or part-time or full-time year round. So we have a full list of positions. Uh, they can be within our call center, our office, um, our recreation department, our safety and security department, our award-winning spa, uh, housekeeping, guest services, uh, with grounds and engineering. And then probably two of the bigger areas of need are through our dining services and through our culinary services. And specifically for our culinary services and dining services, we are offering sign-on bonuses uh, for people who come, get interviewed, get hired, and then meet with the minimum requirements for those sign-on bonuses. We will gladly uh, send those on out. Um, we do ask everyone to complete an online application. The easiest place to do that is at www.mohonkjobs, that's M-O-H-O-N-K-J-O-B-S dot com. And you can apply for as many of the open posi positions as you would like. Um, and we'll get you in for your interviews. Um, if you have questions for me directly, uh, the, I have two email addresses. The easiest one is HR for human resources at mohonk.com, M-O-H-O-N-K.com. Um, we welcome all applicants of, of all ages, 17 and up. Uh, not all positions are available for those under the age of 20 or under the age of 18, but we will gladly discuss those positions with you as, as we talk further down the line. Thank you, Ward. Okay, maybe just uh, give the physical uh, address for those folks who, yes. for some reason, don't know about Mohonk yet. Yes, okay, yes. Uh, um, we're in New Paltz. We're low, actually just outside of the town of New Paltz. We're six miles from this, uh, the town center. Uh, our address is 1000 Mountain Rest Road. And that's New Paltz, New York, 12561. My direct phone line for anyone with any questions is area code 845-256-2089. All right, again, put that in the chat if you would for others. And the website for those folks who just want to scope out your property, what's that? That's mohonk.com, M-O-H-O-N-K.com. Fantastic. Our director of membership, Jess Davis, has been speaking with a few members about some opportunities they offer. And Jess will give you a chance to bring folks up to date on those. What do you have? So I'll just start off with um, Diamond Mills. So Diamond Mills, which is located in Saugerties, it's a beautiful venue along with the tavern. 
um, indoor and outdoor dining on the beautiful terrace. And they are currently hiring for a sous chef, line cooks, bussers, servers, bartenders, setup, hotel front desk, housekeeping, and maintenance. Um, so you name it, they're hiring pretty much. You can reach out to them at careers at diamondmillshotels.com. I'm sorry, hotel.com. So it's C-A-R-E-E-R-S at diamondmillshotel.com. Um, Brianne Evil is the director of sales there, and she was unable to attend today, but she was very excited to be able to reach out and uh, let our community know that they're looking to uh, offer job opportunities. Okay, one more maybe sure. while we have you. Well, we are busy. So um, I did just uh, identify that Paper Mill, which is out in Napanock, um, they are a newer restaurant. They used to be the White Wolf. It's a, a full on catering venue as well. And they are hiring servers, bartenders, an experienced event coordinator, and a front of house manager. You can reach out to Christine Schiff there at 272-1064. That's in the area code of 845. And that's the paper mill. And again, it's Christine, 272-1064. Okay, well, I'm gonna introduce a really special property uh, almost up into Delaware County. And then Jess, I'll let you introduce some of our good friends. I know you've already visited most of the restaurants that we see uh, in front of us. Sharita is up at the Frost Valley YMCA. What a beautiful spot. And you've got some openings, I understand, Sharita. Uh, yes, hello everyone. Uh, so we have quite a few seasonal openings uh, available. Uh, of course, we're looking for uh, camp counselors. Uh, we have implemented or are prepared to implement um, our COVID protocol um, for our new campers that are gonna be coming in during the summer. So we're very excited. Uh, so we're looking for camp counselors that are seasonal as well as we are looking for EMT staff along with nurses. Um, we are offering very competitive rates for um, nurses. I know nurses are in high demand everywhere, um, but the great thing about our positions, we're looking for full-time, part-time, and per diem uh, nurses. So even if somebody wanted an extra job on the weekends, we are available. Um, again, we are offering competitive rates. Uh, we are also offering on-site daycare, um, day camp and overnight camp, if they need that for, for their, their children. We do also have on-site housing for the nurses as well. So again, all shifts are available and great thing about it, uh, meals are included also. So room and board, who doesn't want that, right? Um, a few other positions we're hiring for that are seasonal uh, would be our HR assistant role. Uh, it'll be just for a few weeks, possibly starting around June 27th and ending September, about first week of September, so September 8th or so. So um, we are looking for an HR assistant in a seasonal role. Uh, if anybody is interested, um, the best bet is to go to our website at frostvalley.org backslash summer hyphen jobs. Uh, you can also give a call to our phone number is 845-985-2291. Uh, for nurses, you can reach out with the extension directly 232, um, or you can reach out to my extension, which would be 254. Uh, and again, I'm the, uh, the senior HR director, so I'll be happy to guide you to the right department for any sort of hiring services. Thank you. Awesome. Great. Again, add your information to the chat if you would. Frost Valley is open for the entire season. Is that right? Uh, yeah. So we're open year round, but we, we just opened and we're ready and we're accepting campers as well for the summer. Pretty exciting place to go. Thanks so much for being with us. Jess, we'll turn it over to you. So I have been out and about and I, I have to say um, as a young person, I did work in the restaurant and hospitality business and what an exciting time it is um, to be out. So if you're watching today and you're listening to uh, these restaurant owners and venue owners, really give it um, a, a, a thought to get out there and do this. I, I actually have a little temptation because what I see is people are really happy to be dining out and to be out and about with masks off, a little less guarded, vaccinated, um, with direction. And so uh, what a fun time to be serving people and helping them celebrate this. And then of course, what I am hearing from many of the servers is that the patrons have been extra generous through this time. They, they appreciate so much 
that the servers, the wait staff, the cooks, that they've been working around the clock, that they're still masked and keeping others protected. And so they're very generous is what I'm hearing. So it's a great time to take advantage of one of these jobs and think about just what you could do in the summer, what you might be able to obtain. Maybe it's a new car you want or to pay off a bill or something. You could really do it just picking up a shift or two. And, and these restaurants are so flexible that they're actually saying, I would give somebody one or two shifts. I would give them a Wednesday night. So you might not have to work the whole weekend, although some really do need that. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna introduce our, uh, our good friend, Christina Krizvanos. Uh, Christina is the um, namesake of Christina's restaurant and they of course are hiring as well. Hi, Christina. You're on mute. Hi, hey. thank you. How are you? everyone. I hope you're having a great day. Um, so, you know, Jess, I, I think exactly what you said is so accurate that people are so excited to be out and about. Um, and in the restaurant now, the only missing piece is having a, a full staff to be able to accommodate um, all the happy patrons who are excited to come out um, and, and have light at the end of this tunnel. So, um, we are hiring um, with flexible hours. It's not all full time, but we are hiring um, servers um, over the age of 18 because they do serve alcohol. And we are also looking for kitchen staff, um, line cook and head chef. Um, but again, um, teamwork makes the dream work. And so the hours are flexible and um, days are flexible. And so we can, you know, we can work with anybody who is willing to work with us. And Christina, are you willing to train the right people? Maybe if they don't have experience or just minimal. I actually can't hear you, Jess. I don't know if it's me. Ooh, it might be. Can you hear me now? Okay. Can, can everyone else hear or is it just me? We can hear you. Oh, good. I don't know what's wrong. Okay. Maybe if I mute myself now. Hold on. Let me. I mute. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry. All right. Can you hear me? Yes. Now I can hear Perfect. you. So what I wanted to know, and I think this is a really important question, um, are you looking for experienced wait staff, experienced uh, in the kitchen, or are you willing to train the right people with the work ethic that, that want to come in and join the team? Um, I, you know, with, in the kitchen, experience is definitely um, necessary. It is a pretty fast pace, um, and we're looking for somebody who can kind of jump right in. Um, server staff, there's probably a little more flexibility to train for sure. Um, so a little bit of both. Great to know. Thank All right, you. Glad to see that. It's a great family restaurant. I was just there a few weeks back and the food is fantastic. The patio is open and um, and where, where can they reach out again, Christina? To I'll uh, put it in the chat, but directly at the restaurant, they'll talk to my mom, Liz, she's wonderful. Um, but um, the, um, the phone number is 845-339-7400, and I'll throw it in the chat for you as well. Thank you so much, and thanks for joining us today, Christina. Thanks for doing this. Thank you so much. Another uh, member of the Ulster Chamber, Broadway Lights Diner. They are not able to hop on with us today, but they are hiring. They are hiring part-time and full-time delivery drivers. Yes, you can get the diner uh, delivered to home. The part-time positions are 20 hours and the full-time are 40 hours. Some of the requirements, you need to be at least 18 years of age, a clean driver's license, reliable insured vehicle, and you need to be able to communicate well with a strong work ethic. You'll be answering phones, placing and packing orders, safely delivering the meals in a timely manner. So you can reach out to Broadway Lights Diner. I did not write that contact down, I'm not sure why, um, but Broadway Lights Diner is right here in Kingston on Broadway and I'll put it in the chat. All right, so I see that we have Brandon Bowton from Rainbow Drive-In and Brandon, I just had a really fantastic time there. What a fun establishment you have. Um, I know I heard dad is passing sort of the business on to you and you're one busy man. If you can unmute and let us know what you're looking for uh, as far as hiring out there, we would love to hear from you. Sure. So we, uh, we're lucky enough to have some specific needs, um, which is good. Uh, we actually are, have a full ice cream room worth of staff, which is awesome because everybody's loving ice cream right now with how hot it is. But we are looking for a server um, for part-time hours 
primarily um, morning shifts, um, breakfast and lunch. And with that one experience is definitely necessary. Um, we kind of do a one man band with the waitress and there's about 10 to 12 tables we have inside uh, plus the phone. So it is a high earning position, um, but it definitely requires a little bit of experience with POS systems and, and being a waitress or a waiter. Um, and then we have some, we need some help in the kitchen. Uh, we need a part-time prep person and a full-time line cook. Both of those are primarily um, AM shifts, which is a little bit rare in this industry. Um, but uh, if you're, you know, want to be home for dinner, then it's the right, uh, right, could be the right job for you. So the prep cook, um, we, we would like some experience. However, you know, the right person with the right attitude, we are absolutely willing to train. Um, the line cook, we, uh, I would say we would require at least some breakfast, cooking breakfast experience. Um, we do get quite busy. It is a small kitchen, so uh, definitely a fast-paced environment. But it's pretty much just me, my father, and uh, his nephew right now. And it's kind of a family affair, and we have a lot of fun. So definitely looking for people with energy, um, people who are willing to learn, and the rest, you know, we can train. Flipping burgers and uh, what a fun establishment. So if you're looking for a summer fun job with something extra, like a sweet treat at the end of the shift. And ice cream. Rainbow driving is it. Awesome. So we're, uh, we're in Port Ewan, 90 Old Route 9W. Um, you can either stop in and fill out an application or you can call my, uh, call my personal cell phone. That's 845-853-4278. And I'll throw it in the chat. Uh, and we're just, yeah, we're looking for people who want to have fun and you know, want to make some money doing it. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, thank you guys for putting this on. Uh, it's definitely nice to know that we got a little bit of support, you know, during these challenges. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, we did hear from our friends at Plaza Pizza and uh, Plaza Pizza salads, um, salad bowls in uh, the town of Ulster and both in the city of Kingston. And they are both hiring. Uh, they are hiring counter staff for full-time days and full-time and part-time nights. So lots of flexibility, whether you're looking for just a little something extra or you're in need of that full-time employment, they've got both positions open at this time. They're also hiring delivery drivers. Um, if you see an order come up for my place, you see Jess Davis on there. I, I think I'm a pretty good tipper and a frequent uh, orderer. So if you take that job, grab my delivery. You can give a call to the Plaza location, which is 845-331-4451 or the uh, Morton Boulevard. And that's 845-382-1010. Uh, Danny is typically out there and sometimes at the Plaza and Cecilia is at the Plaza. Uh, you can just ask about uh, hiring and employment within. Again, the numbers there are 331-4451 and 382-1010. Yes, I know them by heart. Word, I'm going to pass it back to you. Okay, I want to head out to uh, the beautiful uh, Stone House right now. I see Linda Bradford is with us today. If you'd unmute, Linda, want to find out what's happening. And if folks live in that area, a great place to work. Tell us what's happening. Hi. So uh, we're located in Accord, New York. It's about 15 minutes from Kingston, 15 minutes from New Falls, about 15 minutes from Ellenville. Um, we're currently looking for a line cook and a prep cook. Um, we're flexible as far as whether it's part-time or full-time and uh, also experienced servers and bartenders. Uh, we do have a lot of entry-level people already. So we really are looking for people with experience. Um, we're currently open Tuesdays through Saturdays from noon to 9 p.m. So we definitely would need people that are available those days. Uh, we'd like to at, at some point open on Sundays if we can get enough staff. Uh, what we offer, we offer year-round stable positions, uh, a pleasant work environment. Uh, after a year, we have profit sharing and a weekday vacation, competitive salaries, and we'd love to have somebody that that wants to come on board and have some fun and make money. Yeah. Contact information, can you either share it now yes. or put it in the chat? Our, our, they can email me at stonehousetavern1 at gmail.com or call the restaurant and I'll put it in the chat. Great, continued success, okay. great, great restaurant. Thank Courtney. You. Courtney's representing two restaurants, and boy, I tell you what, she has been busy. Dixon Roadside and the Phoenicia Diner. What's happening, Courtney? Oh, summer's here. 
Yeah. So there's that. <laughs> I feel like all year, you know, summer ends and you're like get in the groove and waiting for the next summer and you blink your eyes and it's here again. So um, we are very excited, but we, like everybody else, are hiring. Um, we're hiring pretty much everything um, from back of the house to front of house. And I'm even looking for an assistant front of house manager for the diner, which uh, it's pretty rare that we have management opportunities open up there uh, for front of house. So it's a in my opinion, a great job. Um, and if it's an entry level management position, it would also be great for somebody who had maybe a little bit of management experience uh, at a lower volume place. Um, but yeah, we're excited to bring someone on and we think this summer is gonna be crazy, so we're gonna need it. Um, both companies, uh, we don't necessarily, other than the manager position, need anybody with experience. We are definitely willing to train. Um, and especially if it's someone who's looking to maybe progress in, in their career, if it's someone who's serving that maybe hasn't gotten the chance to bartend or somebody who's hosted who's never gotten the chance to serve, uh, we definitely focus on developing our employees a lot and are willing to take the time to kind of groom them into what they want to be and what their goals are within the industry. So, yeah. Where are you located? Uh, Dixon Roadside is located on Tinker Street, right before the Bearsville Theater in Woodstock, after you pass the main um, town area. And then Phoenicia Diner is located on Route 28 in Phoenicia, um, just right also right before the town area. You'll see it on the left-hand side, a big diner sign. Um, we kind of consider ourselves hosts and ambassadors to the Catskills. We get just a ton of visitors, so it's a really gratifying place to work it's also a really fun place to work kind of every day like any restaurant is a new thing but it's it's fun seeing different people every day from all walks of life and kind of getting to tell them about our area and the great companies and other places to go around so we have some fun a lot of new people have found ulster county right a lot it's crazy yeah i couldn't believe the growth that we've seen in the last year and a half it's insane Give your contact information now or if you would in the chat. Yep, anyone can contact me at Courtney, C-O-U-R-T-N-E-Y at PhoeniciaDiner.com or Courtney at DixonRoadside.com. And I'll awesome. put it in the chat as well. Great, thanks. Anybody just tuning in live now on Facebook, uh, the Chamber of Commerce and our partners from the Ulster County region are hosting our first virtual job fair. Lots of opportunities for folks uh, in the restaurant industry and in tourism and hospitality. And if a parent is watching right now or an older sibling, if you've got kids coming home from college or a break from high school, uh, this is the place to tune in. We're gonna archive this so you can come back and watch it later on in full. And we'll have a listing of course of those opportunities that folks are adding in the chat with their contact information. Out to the town of Ulster and out of the Texas Roadhouse. If you'd unmute yourself, we'd love to hear what's happening out there. Victoria Schroing is with us and uh, wanna say hi to Victoria, what's happening? Hi, everybody. Hi, Todd. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I'm Victoria. I'm from Kingston, Texas Roadhouse. We're located right um, on 9W off of um, Myron Lane. So it's 500 Myron Lane. Um, we are hiring every position, um, front of house and back of house. Um, for front of house employees, um, for like the hosts, um, our server assistants, which are bus boys, um, and our uh, Sandy coordinators, we can hire at 16. Um, for anybody in the kitchen or interested in serving, we do hire 18 and older. Um, uh, we do, you know, we're, we offer part-time and full-time positions, positions for both front and back of house. Um, we do have a really lively work environment, very fast paced moving, um, not even just on weekends, weekdays as well. Um, we do have a lot of high schoolers that do um, have flexible hours here. Um, we have college students that have flexible hours here. Um, it's just you know, a really awesome place to work if you're looking for flexible hours and a competitive pay. Um, we do have um, our website that you can apply on. We don't do any in-store applications. Everything is electronic for us. Um, so you can do um, a, your application through apply.texasroadhouse.com. Um, and I'll put it in the chat too. Or you can give the store a call at 845-336-7600. If anyone has any questions about a front of house um, position, Heather or Maria are my service managers. Um, and the back of house positions, Eduardo Cabrera is our kitchen manager. 
and I'll put all this information in the chat. Um, but we do have an awesome culture to work for. And if anyone's interested in coming into this, you know, legendary food, legendary service industry, you know, just give us a call. Okay. Thank you, Victoria, so much. We're going to stay in the town of Ulster. Alex Steer, I think, is with us, at least on audio. And he also has a great gateway to the Catskills location. Alex, are you with us? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. I I was uh, I'm going from vehicle to vehicle, from delivery back in, so I haven't been able to really. I, I listen to everybody from the beginning, uh, but it's just a challenge. And uh, Victoria, I'll take the job. So uh, <laughs> we, we we do a lot with, uh, with Victoria. So it, it's and also with Danny and everybody at the at Plaza Pizza. Uh, I apologize for not having the camera going. You probably don't want to see me anyway, but uh, we are hiring at Olive's Country Store Showcan, which is on Route 28. Uh, we're looking for cashiers. We are open seven days a week, closing at between 8 and 9 p.m., depending on the day. Uh, we do have some young people that have come in and are training for the first time in a long time. So we'd still like to get a few more uh, trained deli people if you're familiar with food service, uh, we'll gladly speak to you. Leslie's my manager up there at uh, Olive's Country Store. And then at Home Plate, uh, we have kind of unique hours being that we close at 3. And we're open Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 3 p.m., Saturday only till 2. And then Connie and myself and a few others will cater all weekend, uh, Saturday night, uh, all day Sunday, even Memorial Day, as the deli is closed, we're working. Uh, but anybody experienced who actually wants to have evenings off, uh, home plate is the place to come. And again, we're looking for people that can actually take orders. Uh, occasionally, we have a driver position open, and we're looking for another person in the kitchen to help the chef with uh, the amount of bacon we're cooking off, chicken we're cooking off, different things like that. So uh, my name is Alex. Uh, I own Home Plate and Olive's Country Store. My direct cell is 518-281-8700. It's on our website, the combined website of Home Plate Deli and Olive's Country Store, and then you can click on either one. Any message through the website also comes to me. So uh, it's been fascinating uh, listening to everybody and meeting people on Zoom. Again, even though my picture's not there, I do see everybody. So uh, it's going to be an exciting and unique time this year. Thanks to Ward, Jess, and everybody at the chamber. Really appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Okay, Alex, thanks very much. We look forward to seeing you actually in person at chamber events coming up soon. Uh, uh, there yeah. is a thanks. There is a new uh, dining establishment and event venue on the Hudson River, and we uh, guess got a video I think this morning from them. So let's find out about the openings at Salt Hotels, Allison, if you would. And can you see it? Got it. Okay. Hi, everybody. So excited to be a part of this virtual job fair here in Ulster County. I'm coming to you live from a forest cabin at Hutton Brickyards, where we're two weeks freshly open and super excited as we head into Memorial Day weekend and the summer kicks off. We, uh, like other businesses in the area, are, are hiring and really excited to meet with local, talented um people who are looking for part-time jobs, full-time jobs. We are hiring in about every department uh, and we are super flexible. Um, housekeeping, we're looking for room attendants and house persons. We are looking for ambassadors, which is a great role. It's an outdoor role that allows people to engage with Hutton Brickyard's guests, people who are walking along the Empire Trail and just wanna learn more about Hutton Brickyard's. It's a really nice role that allows people to engage with others all day and really share information and spread the word about all the great things that are happening here at Hutton Brickyards. We are also looking for um, engineers. We're looking for a lead engineer to sort of head up the team as well as um, regular engineers. In addition to that, for food and beverage for the restaurant, we are looking for servers, bussers, runners, line cooks, prep cooks, um, really excited about that. Uh, the restaurant opens to the public on the 27th, 
So um, please reach out to us if you're interested in working at Hutton Brickyards. We have great benefits that we offer. We'd love to tell you all about them. Great employee discounts. Um, so much good stuff uh, regarding Hutton Brickyards and the company Salt Hotels. So lots of opportunities for people. We'd love to talk to all of you. Um, there are no limitations, scheduling issues, um, any concerns about days or shifts, we're flexible, we will make it work. We are committed to doing that. Uh, we just are really excited to meet everybody. So anyone who's interested, please email us at joinushb at salthotels.com. Again, shoot us an email at joinushb at salthotels.com. My name is Victoria. I'm the Corporate Director of Talent and Development for Salt Hotels. Super excited about this. And really, we look forward to meeting all of the talented people here locally in Ulster County uh, and anyone else who's interested in uh, finding out more about employment at Hutton Brickyards. Thanks a lot. And there's a slide also, Allison, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Right, there is a still shot. Can you see it? Got it. Okay. Jess. Okay. So I'm going to take it back. And uh, again, I spent the last couple of days just connecting with our uh, restaurant owners and um, management teams. And so Yes, many are hiring. I did talk to a few that said, at this point, I, I'm fully staffed, which is fantastic to hear. Um, but the team at uh, the Mazella Family Restaurants, they are hiring for both locations in the village of Saugerties on Main Street. You've probably seen that uh, Village Bagels opened not that long ago, and they've got fantastic bagels and paninis and uh, local uh, organic fair trade coffee. And so uh, they are hiring for two positions at Village Bagels, um, baristas. I think that's such a fun thing to do. I actually got to make a, a latte very recently and it was a fun uh, skill to acquire, although I could use some serious practice. Um, and they are also hiring for counter staff there. Uh, I will give you the contact info after I uh, announce the openings at Village Pizza. But so for Village Bagels, it's uh, baristas and counter staff. They're currently open uh, seven to three, seven days a week. I do think that they plan to expand in the summer if possible, if staffing allows. So, um, but that's their current schedule there. Uh, the other uh, restaurant that they own there in the village is Village Pizza. And they're looking for counter staff there as well and also delivery drivers. Um, so you can reach the owner directly. His name is Rodney Mazella and you can give his cell phone a call. It's 845. 853-4509. Um, he's usually in one of the two locations. They also have a third location in Rhinebeck. If you're uh, in the area and you want to stop by and inquire, uh, feel free to do that as well. So um, that's another one. Uh, I was another place I was at hanging out and eating with Just Delicious. The Anchor, which is located right on Broadway in the heart of the construction as it comes to a close and it's gonna be complete and beautiful before we know it. It'll be history, the mess that we went through, but um, the Anchor is now also uh, the hole in the wall in the Anchor. So there's a double uh, dose there. You can get burgers at night and then on Thursday through Sunday, they're now offering donuts. So they are looking for a part-time experienced server uh, at this time, they only have their outdoor patio open, which is in the back of the restaurant. And then they're also looking for a donut assistant. So for the donut assistant, you must be able to multitask and you must be a morning person. Um, and they are willing to train the right people. You can contact Brandy. The number at the anchor is 853-8124. Again, it's Brandy. Uh, another one that I saw that is hiring, another place I've been, Joshua's Cafe, and Steph is the owner there. She is looking for both wait staff and prep cooks, and that is located right in the village of Woodstock. So if you're turning the corner into the village and you kind of peek to the left, it's in that strip just past Jean Termos on the left-hand side. Uh, you can reach them at 914 
388-3469. Again, wait staff and prep cooks. And last time I was there, Steph, the owner, was actually my waitress. Um, so that's how much they're in need of, of hiring. Um, we've also got Downtown Cafe, a good old Graziano, a really fun chef. It's like stepping into a little piece of Italy there. And he's looking for servers and part-time dishwasher. Uh, Thursday and Saturday, five to close. And the cafe number is 338 three three eight zero and uh there's an alternate number you can reach uh graziano at nine one four four six six nine eight zero zero uh downtown cafe is located on the right hand side as you're heading down broadway toward the strand at the top of the strand about maybe a halfway down uh, an italian cafe and graziano is um He's whipping up dishes all the time. He's got some really fantastic customers. It's got to be a really fun place to work. And he has some really fun stories. I also heard from John Livermore at Stone Pony Deli. And uh, I have a list here. He's looking for counter help uh, Tuesday through Friday, 11 to 3, and Saturdays, 11 to 7. You have off Sundays and Mondays. And uh, he's also, basically you're doing a sandwich, you're a sandwich artist, a salad artist and counter help. Uh, he's also hiring a catering manager. Saturdays are a must and the uh, pay rate on that is a little bit more than what you'd be looking at around the $15 an hour. It's, it's really a management position. So if you're looking for something um, that's gonna really have a great return. This is a great opportunity as well and could end up you know, taking you to that next level with the manager experience and the catering. So again, Stone Pony Deli, Counter Help um, and uh, Sandwich Salad Artist is what you're really gonna be titled at, which sounds like a lot of fun. And then a catering manager. Should I keep going, Ward? I have one more. Yes, please. Okay, I have um, the Bowery Dugout. Jeff Lipton and the team at the Bowery Dugout uh, are looking for a cook, a prep and dishwasher, servers and bartenders, and they are willing to train the right people and it's a great work environment. That's Jeff Lipton out of the Bowery Dugout on Albany Avenue. Um, you can reach them at 331-7200. And he also has some projects in the works. So there could be some really great opportunity there as you're coming in on the ground floor. So give uh, Bowery Dugout an opportunity. Okay, I have one, two, three, four more, Ward. Keep going? Please, yes, let's hear them. So Pika Moose Restaurant is in Big Indian, which is way out Route 28. And when you get there, you step into like this, uh, wooded camp like yet modern and cozy restaurant and uh, Mary Beth Mills is the co-owner there and they are hiring for many positions the uh, way to reach out is info at peekamooserestaurant.com so it's info at p-e-k-a-m-o-o-s-e restaurant.com and that's uh, in the uh, town of Big Indian, just past Benicia and Shandaken. We also saw that Old Savannah is hiring and they're hiring bussers, food runners, and food expediters. Uh, they're located on the beautiful historic Roundout Waterfront in the city of Kingston. And you can ask for Dave or Jess, uh, apply in person there um, or call as well. And um, they're hiring immediately. Hostage Inn, which is uh, located in Tilson, and they are a small family restaurant. They are currently doing to go only, so they're not open to the public uh, for indoor dining or patio dining at this time, but they are hiring a dishwasher Wednesday through Sunday, 4 to 9 p.m., and you can reach out at hostageincareers at gmail.com. So it's P-O-S-T-A-G-E-I-N-N -N, careers at gmail.com. And you can also apply in person after 4 p.m. on those days, Wednesday through Sunday, the Jerkowski family. We also know that the Rip Van Winkle Brewing Company, which is located just past Saugerties in Palinville, a wonderful member of the chamber, 
They are hiring bussers, dishwashers, counter help, prep line cook, waiter, waitress. The number there is 518-678-9275. You can ask for Joey or Anthony and they're a great family establishment as well. Okay, fantastic. Um, I want to give our partners an opportunity if you'd like to uh, offer any closing remarks. These are all great uh, organizations uh, that we work with on a regular basis. Lisa at Ulster County Tourism, Thomasine and Bob at OET, our good friends at the SBDC, John and Jen. Did you want to add anything before we conclude today? I, I want to thank you, Ward, for, for you know, doing this and getting this word out. And I think we should keep doing it. The more we work together, the better it will be to help us solve this employment problem that we have, you know, for our tourism and hospitality businesses. And I really appreciate the work that you did um, to put this together. And we just have to keep getting the word out that there are fantastic jobs here at all levels for people. So thank you so much. And I hate to do this. I hate to speak and run, but I have to go to um, Stewart Airport for the inaugural, to welcome the inaugural flight from Savannah, Georgia into Stewart. So all of you with hospitality businesses know that we're going to be bringing people from across the country here. It's a great day for tourism. And I know Memorial Day weekend is going to be great. We couldn't do it without you. Thanks, you guys. Awesome. Thank you, Lucia, very, very much. Thomasine, Bob, Jen, John. Yeah, and, and Bob could definitely speak, but just want to thank you all. Thank you so much, Ward, and just want to let you, all you businesses know we are here to support you. We will continue to promote your jobs and continue to, you know, really support you in any way that we're able to. Uh, we just thank you for your, your continued um, outreach of trying to reach out to the community, trying to support the community, um, and we just appreciate being able to be in partnership with you. I want to thank everybody also, sorry, John, if I just cut you off, but um, I know some of you actually sound familiar to me. I think John and I probably have spoken to a few of you when we were doing our outreach for some targeted things that we're trying to accomplish for uh, giving you guys some support in the area. So thank you for sharing all this information. We're going to go back and we're going to continue to work with our hospitality roundtable and all of our partners that are here today. And we're just trying to really actively come up with some solutions to help you guys out. So Feel free to contact John or I at any time. And uh, if you have any, any suggestions or any recommendations that you want us to kind of help uh, give you guys some support, we're here. Please feel free to reach out. And thank you again for all your time and, and sharing all this information with us. Great, great. We thank you for your time and attention. We really do today. We know that we're in a very, very um, unique and challenging time for everybody. Um, please use whatever we have available, the Chamber website, the Chamber special groups. We have over, I think, 14,000 members now of Ulster Eateries United. Post your openings there, be as specific as possible, give folks the all the news and information they need uh, in order to find the job that fits them best. Uh, I think what a lot of folks um, don't understand is these can be great starter jobs for kids or they can be actual careers. There are some wonderful opportunities to work full-time in tourism, hospitality, and the restaurant world. And it's an exciting, exciting world. So thank you all for participating. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Call us if we can help you. On behalf of our staff, Jess and Allison and Carol and Val and Ingrid, thank you for being part of today. Dennis, of course, thank you at Samadhi and Catskills Addiction. We uh, hope that you'll be well and we'll talk to you again very, very soon. Thank you. Be well. Stay cool. Take care. Thank you very much. <laughs>